Here we go. What's going on, Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an average while excluding zeros. So here's how we're going to do that. In the situation here, you are an analyst for the Avengers. And you're trying to see, on average, of how many enemies each Avenger takes out a month. Right? So the total enemies per month is up here. And the total enemies taken out represents uh, rows 3 through 9. So what you can actually see here through 13 to 19 is that I'm actually taking, I'm dividing the total amount each Avenger has taken out, dividing it by the total enemies here, right? So in this situation here, total amount Captain America has taken out out of the total amount of enemies in that month. Now, I have an if error there. That is in any situation that there are blanks, meaning that the Avenger did not participate in that month there were some div errors that showed up, so I used the if error to replace them with zeros, right? That's for everyone except for Captain America, because we all know he can do this all day. What you can see here, the math is already done, right? So if we wanted to take an average as is now, uh, you know, I'll do a conditional formatting here, just so you can kind of see from a heat map standpoint where all the zeros pop out, because it might be a little bit harder to see. So if we take an average of things right now, right? So if we do average, just make sure we're highlighting all the numbers, drag down, and we have our average here. Now, if we wanted to get maybe a more true average, excluded the zeros where, and we only wanted to take an average of the months that each Avenger participated in, you could do it two ways. One is that you can do average again and using con the control key on your keyboard, well, we know Captain America is good, right? So we don't need to be selective here, but say for like Hulk, we use control while we're clicking, right? So we click, hold control, click, click, let go of control. If I close the parentheses, that's how that worked, right? So. You can do that for each row, but that can get a bit tedious, right? Especially since there aren't zeros lining up perfectly. So what we'll do instead, we're going to use an average if. And this is a really simple formula, right? So all you do is average if, the range being the entire row. Oops, I closed that too early. And the criteria is going to be parentheses. Oops. close, right? Okay, so the two arrows, make sure you put that in quotation marks, the two arrows facing away from each other means does not equal, and then obviously zero. Close the parentheses. Captain America stayed the same because he didn't have any zeros, but if we drag down, notice some that there's actually the average is a bit higher in some of these situations when we're excluding zero, right? So that's a quick way to do that if you ever run into that situation where you just want to exclude the zeros from an average. That is how you would do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't seen my other if videos like count if, sum if, highly recommend you watch those as well. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.